Welcome back to the Lee and Haley Show. As you know, I'm like a huge Ink Master fan. Well, no, you wouldn't know because I never said it, but but I'm a huge Ink Master fan, and it got me thinking that maybe I have what it takes to be Ink Master. So I called my friends here at Tattoo Charlie's right behind me. Uh, they're gonna put me through an apprenticeship today to see if I have what it takes to be Ink Master. Let's go inside. Zach, my first question. I, as you know, I've watched 12 seasons of Ink Master, mm -hmm. two seasons of Tattoo Angels, and then one season of Redem Ta uh, Ink Master Redemption. Now today I'm supposed to start my tattoo apprenticeship. Would you say I'm more prepared than the average person coming in here, or the same? Based on those shows, like it, it kind of does give you like a basic idea of everything. Okay. However, uh, they're not go. they're not they're not super reliable. So, I don't care what you said. I'm gonna do. We're just gonna dub over it. The perfect thing about these masks is we can dub over it and make <laughs> you say. So I'll put this part in here. You're gonna say, oh, I would say you can, you're in here at least doubly prepared as the average person. Like, I don't know, you, I remind you of, like, yourself starting out as a young artist. <laughs> and you just say all that back verbatim. Oh, we're stretching a little bit. Okay. All right, let's get our apprenticeship started. What do you want me to do first? All right. What's the coolest thing on the list? Let's do that first. Uh, coolest thing on the list. We can get you started with, like, sweeping and mopping. Make sure you ring it out good. That's what you sound like. Oh, I know. <laughs> you come in here every day sounding like that with a straight face. <laughs> of course, they didn't give me anything to pick this up with. Why am I even doing this? Aubrey's got it. Do you have any tattoos of your own? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I know how this looks. All right. But just squint your eyes a little bit, and I'm going to stand over here. Squint your eyes some. And I'm going to move around a lot like I'm doing stuff. Just, just put the shirt back on. Come on. Like, you're not fooling anybody. Too much light in here. <laughs> Tell me how to deal with the clients. So, basically, whenever you answer the phone, first thing you want to say is, this is Tattoo Charlie's of Lexington. You can say your name. How may I help you? Tattoo Charlie's of Lexington. My name's Noah. How can I help you? Maybe some enthusiasm. I'm going to take this. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I figured you would. Tattoo Charlie's, this is Noah. I'm super enthusiastic about your call. How can I help you? What kind of tattoo artist do we have up there? We've got three, and they recommend you get booked for a consultation appointment. So let's get you booked for a consult. But that'll probably come in, in a second. So what were you going to say first? You go first. Are you 18? Okay, and you have a driver's license, or a valid ID at least. Like a Sonny's gift card that says your name on it. What are you calling about? You get a tattoo on your shoulder. That's a cool place to get one. I feel super enthusiastic about the idea already. What do you want to get? Okay, so that's going to be Zach, but if you're interested, we got this other guy who's kind of like a, well, Zach even said he's kind of like a prodigy, like an up-and-comer guy, like, and this guy's super new age, his name's Noah, like, I'm talking all this dude's tattoos are NFTs now, March 16th, take it or leave it. All right, how do we do? Not too bad. Okay. Not too bad. He's on there. Um... 
You actually have to put it in the calendar. Uh, do you remember what I said his name was? <laughs> no. Okay, well, maybe he'll call back. Can you believe I drew this in like five minutes? Pretty cool. Now this is how you draw tattoos. Yeah, so... If someone comes in here and wants a tattoo and you draw it up, you're on this... Yes. What do you want me to draw? Draw a rose. Shoot. You ever start something and know within five seconds that it's not going to work out? Okay. Art is subjective. <laughs> so you can't say Abstract. it's a bad rose. I think at the end of the day, it just depends on if the customer wants it or not. And that tells me if it's good or not. I heard you wanted, I heard you wanted a rose tattoo. I do. I really do. Okay, now if I showed you this one, what would your reaction be to it? And I, I want you to keep in mind that art's subjective, so you can't say it's bad. But you can say anything else constructive that you want about it. I have seen similar things in museums. And where do you want to get this at? On your arm? Yes. We'll, we'll go like right here with the other one. I'll get it printed up right away. Nice. All right, cool. So this is how we stencil things. So here's your images, right? This is carbon stencil paper. So okay. whenever you trace, it'll make the stencil on the other side. Okay. And then you can lay that on the skin and it'll leave you a stencil to tattoo it. All right, let's put this on someone's skin. Okay. You said I could do it, and you promised. I did. Okay, so you can't take it back. All right, well, let's do it. Why are you getting this part? Place your stencil. Like this? Nope, other way. You want the carbon against the skin. Now what? Smooth out the edges, but without trying to move the whole paper on the surface. Very cool. Cool. Now you can peel it off. Already? Slow, dramatic peel. Yeah. Boom. Cool. Working stencil. All right, now sit down. Let's do it. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Based on what you've seen today, I know you were saying at the start of the day, Something like Prodigy, really good, reminds me of myself younger and everything. How'd this go? Do you think I have what it takes to be Ink Master? You no. do not have what it takes to be Ink Master, no. Okay. Well, will you at least do like a cool Ink Master pose with me? Like they do in the show? No. That's the no from me, man. Well, I'm going to do one anyway. Here's my signature pose. Hang on. Or maybe a different take two. 